what you're going to learn in this lesson. Just a simple blues progression. They call it the 12 bar blues. Hey everyone, it's Shane Spiel. Welcome to Blues University. In this video, I am going to show you the foundational blues riff. This is a lesson for the beginners out there. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play 12 bar blues on a three string cigar box guitar. Now this one is made just like the one I show in my book, Making Poor Man's Guitars. You can see it right over my shoulder here. Making Poor Man's Guitars, it's on sale over at stubbyslide.com. I sign every copy that I send out. So it's a three string cigar box guitar. It is fretless and it's tuned G, D, G. G, D, G. In this lesson, I'm going to show how to play it on this fretless cigar box guitar with a slide. Now, I'm also going to show where to go. Here it is. I'm going to show the entire lesson in the second part on a fretted cigar box guitar. This one has frets. It is also tuned G, D, G, G, D, G, but it has frets. So let's start with the basics. This is a three string cigar box guitar. It is patterned after old depression era instruments, ones that were talked about from old blues men. Uh, most of the time they were playing one or two string cigar box guitars, something very simple. Um, when I built my first, I added a third string just to be a little fancy. And since then it's kind of caught on. So we're gonna go with these three strings here. <laughs> Okay, you're going to need a stubby slide. This is the King Slide from stubbyslide.com. Uh, there's also other options. You can get the Bone Slide. It's also at stubbyslide.com. Um, the King Slide is what I use in concert and for most of my stuff. It's a heavy mass piece of steel. You can put it on your middle finger. You can put it on your ring finger. Any finger that feels comfortable to you. Don't think you need to put it on your ring finger because Shane Spiel has it on his. Trust me, you can do it however you want. So before we even get into using this, this stubby slide, I want you to learn the rhythm. The rhythm is everything. So the rhythm for the blues, for some of the most basic blues, is this chugging rhythm. It's... It's like a gallop, dun 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 dun. It's like a heartbeat, dun 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 dun. Which would make sense since blues is definitely a music of pure emotion. Um, so why wouldn't it sound like a heartbeat? So I want you to learn this rhythm. I'm even going to put this slide down for now because I don't even want you to use a slide. I simply want you to get your pick hold your pick in a way that is very comfortable to you and what you're going to do is you're just going to get to your three strings and you're going to go across all three and you're going to do this rhythm we're going to start out really slow and i want you to rewind this video and go back over it until you get this rhythm right it is <laughs> I'm just going to keep playing it. Play along with me. If it 
it doesn't feel natural to you, this is something you're going to need to sit there uh, as you're just playing, even when you're not even thinking about it. Just go over this stuff. A lot of the techniques I learned, uh, I would basically be sitting watching TV, watching, you know, sports or something, and just have my guitar here and then work on a technique without even thinking about it. You want that you want that rhythm to become second nature to you. Because I'm sure there's things in life, you know, no matter what job you have, there are things in life that are second nature to you now. You've done it over and over again. Well, if you want to play the blues, the blues is not something you play from your mind. It's something you play from your heart. And it's something you need to get that second nature going. And so being this is the beginner blues, I want you to really get this chugging rhythm down. Let's even slow it down more. Do you need it slower? Here we go. Think of it as a heartbeat. to get that in you once you get it in you then you can take it to these next steps and eventually you won't even be thinking and you'll be like <laughs> you'll be able to get to that point someday but right now you gotta get that chugging rhythm in you okay I want you to practice that until it's second nature to you, until you don't even have to think about it. And when you're playing it, I don't want you sitting there grabbing your pick like you're strangling the life out of it and going. <laughs> if you're sounding like that, you need to relax. You need to do this until that rhythm gets in you. I don't need you to go. <laughs> I've seen people come up to me and play their guitars and be like that. They're tense. They're thinking too much. And I need you to rest. I need you to relax. Even say a prayer before you start practicing. I'm serious. God wants you to play an instrument. Pray beforehand and just say, help me get this. Help me get the blues. Help me figure this out. Trust me. Okay, the next part is where the stubby slide comes in. Again, this is the King's Slide from stubbyslide.com. And the what I need you to learn is how to use this as a fingertip. And I've you I've I've talked about this in many videos before where these techniques that I'm showing you on Cigar Box Guitar don't have the slide across all the strings all the time. You know? You can do that eventually. What I want you to do is get this slide positioned on your finger. Do not have it go deep down with your fingertips sticking out. No, most, they sell slides called knuckle slides that go way down to your knuckle. That's not what we want. The king slide comes with a piece of felt and you put it in there so that this slide is snug on the top of your finger. That's where you want it. You want to be able to bend your finger like this because this slide is going to bend down and this little piece right here, this piece right here, is going to be touching the middle string and letting the other strings go. So let's go through this. This part in the blues is where you're going to be going. Now let me show you that technique. This, what you're going to do, I want you to take your stubby slide, make sure it's positioned on your finger right, and just put it on the middle string, second fret, and you're putting it right over the fret. Not in between, like when you play a guitar, no, you put it right over the fret. And all I want you to do is 
strum all three strings. Do you hear that? What you hear is the low string and the high string ringing out. You're not even touching it with this slide. You're only touching that middle string. Take time and make sure you get this down as well. This is another part. Trust me, what I'm teaching you is Mr. Miyagi wax on, wax off. It seems very tedious right now, but if you get these things down, these are the foundational pieces that you build the blues on. Can you do that with your stubby slide? Work on getting that slide right there, right on that middle string, and do not hit the other strings, because if you do, they'll sound like this. Or, you want it to sound clean, you want it to sound. One little note, if you notice, whenever I play a slide cigar box guitar, look at how high the strings are off of the fretboard. That's at least a quarter inch, if not more, which is supposed to be very high action for normal plays, players, but for slide, it's, it's a thing of beauty for me. Okay, now that you know how to put the slide on the second fret of the middle string, let me show you how it works, because it's gonna go from the second fret to the third fret, play the riff and then I'll show you how it's done. So it is two of those chugging strums with no slide and then two of those chugging strums with the slide on the second fret. Go back to two of chugging strums, open. Two chugging strums, second fret. And do it one more time. Now go to the third fret. Back to the second fret. So we have these two chugging strums are going. Whenever I go from the second to the third fret, I don't pick the slide up to hit the third fret. I just bring it up. Take that slower. If you need it slower, follow along. I'm going to take it real slow. the first part. That is the beginning of the blues. Don't squeeze the pick. Relax. Get that chugging rhythm. You'll know you're getting it right when you feel it and it feels good. When you're sitting back on your couch or on your chair, and you're just playing this to practice, 
and then all of a sudden you start just closing your eyes and Okay, the second part of the 12 bar blues is where we go up to the fifth fret. Now I'm going to simplify everything, make it extremely easy. Because when we go up to the fifth fret, we're not going to be doing any other slides. We're not going to be doing moving this slide anywhere else. It just rests right above the fifth fret. The fifth fret is usually where the second dot is. Fifth fret right here. And we're just going to do that chugging rhythm on the fifth fret. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then you go back down. So let's take a look at these eight beats that you're doing of the chugging rhythm on the fifth fret. Put your slide right over the line of the fifth fret and using your pick in a relaxed form do that rhythm again and don't move this slide around just keep it right there let me slow that down three four one two three four Feel it? My picking hand is very relaxed. If it was even more relaxed, the pick would fall out of my fingers. I just want to just enjoy it. I don't want to, to push it in there. I want to have a nice relaxed feel. One, two, three, four. So we start out with to what I just taught you. Back to the beginning. And then we're going to go up to the seventh fret. Three, four. There's only four beats in this one. One, two, three, four. So you're just putting the slide over the seventh fret. You're gonna strum it eight times, four beats. One, two, three, four. Because there's two strums in a beat. One, two, three, four. And then move that slide to the fifth fret. And then back to the opening riff. So, let's go back to the seventh fret. Let me show you this slower. Again, seventh fret, fifth fret, let's do it again. practice moving from the seventh to the fifth. You may need to just go even slower than that. Let's play everything all together. I'm going to do it 
slow first, and then I'm going to do it my speed, just so you can hear the final product. So first, really slow. Keep your hands relaxed. Don't be afraid to pick those strings. You're not caressing them with a feather. You're just raking that pick over the strings. Because you want those strings to ring out. Now the way I play it when I'm doing it fast, I will actually take the meat of my hand here, I will hold it right over the bridge, that dampens it, it's called dampening, and then at my speed is, all this then you repeat and you start over again the blues is the same riff the same three chords over and over until you cry that's the blues so if you have a fretted cigar box guitar everything I taught you can be put onto the fretted three string let me put this down and pick this up this is the rodeo king kit from CB Giddy. It's a license plate. It comes with this cool printed box. You put it together. Um, this is one of his kits that is actually easy enough to build on your kitchen table or you can do like some your own woodworking like for me I rounded the back. Um, fun kit. I love building his kits. So this is three strings tuned open G just like the cigar box guitar I used over there. So how do you do it on a fretted cigar box guitar? First, you don't need a slide. You need a pick, you hold the pick the same way, you get the same chugging rhythm. And then where the slide was used, you use your finger, whichever fingers you feel works for you. See, I'm only playing the second fret middle finger or second second fret of the middle string with the finger and then I'll go up to the third to the fifth fret one finger the whole way across Seventh fret. Now you can add one extra thing when you're playing a fretted cigar box guitar. Well, you can add a lot, but in this video, I'm going to add one extra thing to it. When we go to the fifth and seventh frets, you put your finger the whole way across, and if you can con configure your fingers to do it, I have my pointer finger over the fifth fret, and I'm gonna take my ring finger, and I'm gonna run it two frets up in the middle string. And then three frets. Basically, I'm doing the same thing I did down here. I'll go to the fifth fret. And then you do it whenever you go to the seventh fret part two. So let me run through that riff using 
the movable fingers up here. the beginning of the blues the straight ahead 12 bar blues riff that is the foundation for all this music that we love um, take your time with it I want your hand to be fluid I want it to be relaxed I want this hand to be relaxed so you take things slow you get used to it you start to feel it in your heart it should feel like a heartbeat the blues is a heartbeat <laughs> Eventually, you'll be sitting there going. Hear how it's the foundation for all the other craziness I'm doing? get this lesson you get the basics of the blues so keep at it keep that chugging rhythm going keep your picking hand relaxed smile enjoy pray you got this you're going to do this my name's Shane Spiel and I just want to let you know if you want to support this channel just check out stubbyslides.com um, that's where you can get the slides thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next blues university Bye-bye.